Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson, and here's the seafood news for the week of September 2nd, 2019. In this week's episode, we update on frozen at sea fleets for longline and trawl caught species in Alaska. This episode of the 3-Minute Market Insight is brought to you by Sinbad Gold. Sinbad Gold is a zero additive, premium quality product line produced in Asia. All Sinbad brand products are harvested from sustainable fisheries and are produced from the finest raw materials with exceptional harvesting and processing standards. All products follow the industry best seven-step quality control process delivering comprehensive inspections at every stage of processing. With Sinbad Gold, you get a premium product backed by our 100% net weight guarantee. For Pacific Cod, 70% of the 187,000 metric ton quota has been harvested in the Bering Sea, Aleutian Islands and the Gulf of Alaska this year. This quota has been on a decline over the years with last season's quota at about 217,000 metric tons and 300,000 metric tons the season before that. Just for comparison, the 2019 joint Norwegian and Russian cod quota is 746,000 metric tons and to date about 35% has been harvested. The 2018 joint Norwegian and Russian cod quota was 796,000 metric tons. Now back to Alaska, flounder harvests to date have reached 27% of the 95,000 metric ton quota this year. The flounder quota from last season has remained relatively unchanged and the 2017-2016 season's quota slightly higher at 122,000 metric tons. For sole, commercial harvesting of this species in Alaska consists mainly of flathead sole, rock sole, yellowfin sole and rex sole. Latest catch data shows that about 51% of the 262,000 metric tons combined quota has been harvested and the previous two seasons quota have remained about the same level. Last year, about 68% of the seasons quota for sole was realized. Typically during the summer months, boats will stop harvesting sole as the tex texture of the fish is too soft. The combined Bering Sea, Aleutian Islands and Gulf of Alaska harvest of Pacific Ocean perch in Alaska has reached about 46% of the current season's quota of 104,000 metric tons. Ocean perch's quota has been on a steady incline over the previous two seasons at 104,000 for 2018-2017 and 94,000 metric tons for 2017-16. Over in China, imports of Alaskan raw material continue to weaken as a trade war between USA and China advance with no end in sight. Our sources in Asia tell us Pacific Cod raw materials are still at a low level and plants have a lot of inventory. Frozen at sea Russian trawl caught raw materials are around 3,100 per metric ton and long line between 3,400 and 3,500 per metric ton. Alaskan longline raw materials are currently over 4,100 a metric ton right now, which amounts to a 40 cent difference on finished goods. With a price gap this wide, plants will choose to use Russian product over Alaskan unless there is a need for MSC certified product. The Russian longline Pacific cod fishery is to become MSC certified before the end of the year, before the year is up. So it will be interesting to see what impacts that may have on the supply and demand of Pacific cod. Current raw material pricing for BC's and flounder is around 1800 a metric ton. Keep tuned in here to our three minute market insight to see what happens next to flounder and Seoul as the US and China trade war evolves even further. And finally, our Tradex Live offer of the week is for longline caught Alaskan cod. These are MSC certified J-cut block frozen and available in three to four and five to seven pound at $2 US FOB Boston. This is a great product for a great price. Click or tap the icon above to view more details for this offer. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods three minute market insight. This is Robert Ryerson, buy smart and eat more seafood. 